CG could be an issue. It is. G'day, welcome back to the channel. We got go-karts next door today, so excuse the background noise. Now this, this is a plane that I designed and built to do some testing of a few theories for my long range FPV project over at RC Model Reviews. But it's turned into just kind of a regular sport model now because some of the, the idea I was hoping would work didn't actually work so we've had to, uh, I thought well, I won't waste this, I'll just make it into a general sport plane. Of course you could also put FPV, I've made this little canopy on the front, you can put your FPV gear on there or on there, or a Mobius, there's plenty of room, you can put a flight controller, let me show you inside, because uh, I've made it all so that it all just clips together, see that clips into there, and inside there's plenty of room in there, I've just pushed everything in at the moment, plenty of room to put in your favorite flight controller and GPS and all that sort of stuff. This is all just a bit hard with one hand, but this all just pushes together. See, isn't that wonderful? It's like magic. And in the front here I've got at the moment, this is an 850 Nanotech, Hobby King Nanotech, Tunergy Nanotech 850 three cell. Three cells? Yeah, three cells. And that uh, provides the motive force. There's plenty of room. Now, you can see it's kind of a pod. It's kind of pretty ugly in terms of the pod I just designed it because I wanted to have plenty of room to put stuff in you could make it a lot smaller there's a lot of space wasted underneath as you can see in the back there there's nothing so you could really whittle that down a lot and I've used a prop in wing design so it's noisy as hell but my goal wasn't to make this quiet it was just to test out something else which didn't work um, so there we go that's it and I've got a couple of lightweight servos this one's dud damn it I got two dud servos out of the box uh, really annoyed me because the one I used for the elevator was dud too, but I've replaced that and so there you go Basically, it's just foam board. There's no airfoil section because uh, these Reynolds numbers airfoils don't actually do a hell of a lot Some DYS sent me stickers. So I put stickers on it. This will make a huge difference and This piece of tape was just to keep the foam board straight because it was a bit of a bend in the foam board that worked really well and uh, It's just hot glued together a total build time probably, you know 35 minutes 40 minutes I suppose so it didn't take long to build and so now I have my hat cam I'm going to go and see how she flies then be flying line of sight but as I say so easy to throw FPV on this thing and fly control make it into a full FPV model but that's not my goal with this one let's go and see how it flies I think it'll be even louder than the go-karts windy so excuse the wind noise let's see if this thing goes CG could be an issue. It is very touchy. I think the CG is too far back. Because it could be the plate airfoil too. That quite often causes issues. So I'm just going to land it where I can. Ooh. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. Um, yes, that was very interesting. I said that airfoils don't matter, but in this case they do because the center of pressure changes so much with changes in angle of incidence. Of the wing angle of the wing to the air so yeah maybe this isn't the plane i hoped it would be so no never mind back to the drawing board it's only 30 minutes of time and a little bit of foam board so we have learned something from this learned something quite important thanks for watching bye for now